Hey y'all, Michelle here with My Designs in the Chaos, where it's our goal to develop, encourage, and grow your crafting talent and confidence. Today, I'm going to show you how to turn any font into a drippy, spooky looking font inside of the software Inkscape. So here we are inside of Inkscape, and this is the look that I'm talking about. So it kind of looks like it's dripping. There's lots of fun things you can do with this. You can use it for Halloween. You can make it look like ice cream, a popsicle, so many different fun things. So I kind of wanted to walk you through this process. So what we're going to do first is we need to pick out our font. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this type tool, and I'm going to click once on my artboard and get a blink cursor and I'm going to type out the letter O because that's what we're going to be using here in our example. It's going to say spook at the end. And so I'm going to type out the letter O. Now I'm going to use the same font that I used over here with these. So I'm going to go right up here to the top. I'm going to make sure that my O is highlighted and then I'm going to type in the name of my font and it's called Uncle Grump. From here what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to resize it. So I'm going to click on that bottom corner and then I'm also going to hold down control on my keyboard so it stays proportionate. And I'm going to make it about the same size as these letters so that it fits in nicely there. Okay, I'm going to actually just move this K over. We'll make it right here so it'll fit in right there. Now, from here, what we need to do in order to be able to manipulate it and add all these little cool drips on there is we've got to turn it from a font or text into an object that we can manipulate. So the way that we do that is we say path and we click on object to path. Now, when we click on object to path, we're now able to edit the individual nodes of this letter O. So what I can do is I can click right here on edit path by nodes. I can click on my O and I can see all the little itty bitty nodes that pop up on my letter. Now I'm going to zoom in here a little bit just so that we can see it a little bit easier on our screen. From here, with my Edit Path by Nodes tool selected and my O selected, you can see it's selected because it's got all the nodes on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double click. Once it becomes a little like hand, you can see it looks like it's a little grabbing. I'm going to double click right there on that part of my letter. And you'll see a new node pops up and it's red. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that and I'm just going to drag it down. And then the nodes that are on either side have these little handles and I'm going to click on that handle and I'm going to bring it in a little just to make it look more like a drip and I'm going to do that on both sides. And now I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I've got a node here and a node here. I'm going to double click right in the middle once my cursor looks like a little hand. It gives me an additional node right there. I'm going to click on that red node and I'm going to draw it down. Now I don't want it to be as long as this one because I don't want them to all look exactly the same. Um, but I'm just going to drag, drag it down. Now this is part of the fun of designing this is you get to make as many or as few, as big, as little, however you want them to look. But don't forget you want to take that handle of the node on either side side and just extend that out so it looks more like a drip and less like just a, a big bump in your design. And so that's what we're going to do now is we're going through each one of these. And so you can do the same thing down here at the bottom. So in between these two nodes, I'm going to double click, get an extra node, click on that node, drag it down, and then the handles on either side, I'm just going to bring them in a little bit to kind of create that little dripping effect and then adjust where that node is. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Double click. I've got the node. Click on the node. Bring it down a little bit and then adjust each handle on either side and then kind of move it if there's anywhere else I want it to go. I'm going to also make one kind of over here so it kind of looks like it's coming down from this side. And then again, I need to make sure I adjust this handle so it still looks like the curve of the O going up. From here, I actually want to adjust the handle on this one as well. And then you just kind of manipulate it to make sure it looks the way that you want it to look. I'm going to kind of pull this one down too. And then we've got kind of like a little spooky O going on. I can do another one over on this side. I'm going to double click, take that node, pull it down a little bit. 
I don't want it to be even with this one. I want it to look a little bit more randomized, but there we go. And then I might even add one, another one just right here on the inside. Again, I'm gonna adjust these handles so that it kind of goes in. I'm gonna squish this one over just a little bit. And now to really get a good look of what this looks like, I'm gonna click back on my arrow tool so that those nodes aren't highlighted anymore. And now I can see what does my spooky O look like. And if there's anything then I want to adjust, I can always go back here to my edit path by nodes tool, and then I can adjust these. So like if I wanna fix this handle, or I wanna make it more smooth, or like this one, I think I'm gonna make it a little more smooth, I can adjust the type of the node right up here at the top so like this one see how it went from being a corner to now it's being much more smooth and so you can kind of play around with them here um, and make this look exactly the way that you want I'm gonna do the same thing on this one just to make it a little more smooth and then bring this one in just a little bit pull this up and that's part of the fun of this is you can kind of move it around and manipulate it a little bit and then from there what we're actually going to do is I am going to just duplicate that O um, because I don't need two of them I'm going to fix this one right down here at the bottom because that one is a little too sharp for me I want it to look a little more curved than it does at the moment so I'm going to just bring this one in and now let's see, yes, much better. So it looks like a big old drip. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna copy and paste that. So then I've got two of the same O's right there. I'm gonna scoot this K down just a tad. And now we've got our word spook. And you can go in and that's the fun part. You can create as many drips or as few drips as you want. And you can do this with any font that you want. It's really super easy and a fun way to add a little bit of dimension into your projects. I can't wait to see what you end up doing with this fun dripping technique. If you have a question, please feel free to leave a comment below and make sure to come connect with us over inside our free Facebook community. I would love to see your cool dripping fonts come to life. Until next time, I encourage you to stop just collecting and start actually creating. And remember, there's no wrong way to craft. I'll see you back next time. Bye.